Hi everyone. Well tonight uh, I've just been guided to do some channeling so this is fairly new to me when it comes to channeling this way. Now I know that this is how uh, spirit guides are channeled so I've got myself a red light here which spirits seem to like better but I feel like I might be channeling through tonight one of my um, star beings that work with me. So just bear with me, I don't, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but my intention is that there is a message <clears throat> for you. I'm getting a tickly throat already, so I'm just going to go straight into it. So just bear with me. Good evening, beautiful ones. My name is Aktika. And I am part of or a member of the Galactic Federation. But my home planet is Arcturus. in that quadrant of space, in that star system. I am from a small planet which circles what you know as the Sun Arcturus. And many here on the earthly plane know my race of beings to be the Arcturians. I have been working with many on planet Earth. And my mission is to help the human healers that are on Earth. It is my mission to help these healers help other humans 
but also to fully connect into the quantum healing frequency, which is what we use. It is everywhere, but it comes from another dimension, which is now open to all healers that are on the earth. For the earth has risen in frequency, along with many healers, and many star seeds that are now opening to new forms of frequency and energy healing signatures. It is up to you as a healer to expand your consciousness in knowing that you can go further than what you believe and that the modalities that you have perhaps learnt which served you well at one stage and still do but there are other healing frequencies that are much more powerful that are available to you now. I have been working with Ginny for a long time before she even realised that I was working with her. in her practice that she had in Auckland. Uh, by the way, we are in our ships above most big cities that are on this planet. We are aware of all that humanity is doing, achieving, You have to understand that our technologies, our consciousness technology is of a much more advanced nature than humans at the moment. And we say at the moment because many of you are now realizing that through your consciousness this is a way for you to tap into much more advanced frequencies, energies, timelines and higher dimensions. In fact, we wish you to know right now that what you know to be the unified field or the quantum field, as many call it, holds information about everything that exists. So we say to you now, that you have the choice by your own beliefs in yourself to tap into any of these frequencies of information. You are able to do this. We wish you to know this. If you are unsure of ways to tap into these frequencies, 
we say to you, focus on expanding your consciousness. Living in and from a higher vibrational state. This is down to you personally. So I have been working with Ginny in her healing practice long before she even knew. But as her frequency rose and her confidence grew in her abilities, it made it easier for us to connect on more of a physical level. So we have been working with her now for many, many years. We have watched her from a distance before we even started working with her. Even when she was a little girl, we were watching because we knew and understood and could see her development. And there are many other children, humanoid children, who we also watch. But when it comes to Ginny, we have been watching her grow. It has been a long journey. But we have watched from a distance. For you understand that we see into your future. We see the many pathways that you might take. And as I have been one of Ginny's guides, from when she first came into this human existence, I have been helping as much as I can, guide her as a child, but as a young woman, on her journey. Now we know that she understands and knows and feels that she has always been looked after, as she says it. And this is true. Not just by myself, though, for Ginny has many, many guides, both star alliance beings like myself, but also guides from what you know to be the spirit world. She also has guides that are very connected to nature and that live on the earth in other dimensions. So she does not understand fully yet her own powers. But we are here now stepping in closer to guide her more on her own expansion But she is a very busy person, too busy in the human existence. But she knows. And if she spends time actively connecting with her guides, myself and many others, her work 
will advance quicker, more quickly. But she seems to get very easily distracted. But she has a beautiful loving heart. And she will develop in her own time. And we know this. We have patience. We also have so much love and understanding for Ginny, but also for all of humanity. We watch eagerly with what is unfolding at the moment on Earth. And we want you to know that it is a process of unfoldment. It is a process to help many in humanity grow and expand their consciousnesses, but also their hearts. Humanity and the Earth and all planets in the solar system, in the cosmos, are rising in frequency, are expanding in consciousness, for your planet is a living entity. Your whole planet is expanding in consciousness and growing and rising along with all that reside upon and within. And this also is and includes many beings that are not just on the physical plane, like humanity, but all beings, even in the outer world dimensions and the inner world dimensions, are also rising and growing in consciousness and in frequency. This goes also for all planets in the cosmos, but particularly your solar system, but all planets. Even my own home planet is also rising in frequency and consciousness. The suns in all solar systems are expanding in energy, form, in light. This in itself is creating a cosmoplasm of energy. There will be a time when your scientists will understand this timeline and what is unfolding. 
but they are not there yet. There are many, as you would say, light workers that have a slight understanding of what is happening, the changes that are taking place. But there is so much more. Even to do with the human existence, the human body, the human energy field. The crystalline frequency that is within the human form, the soul light, which is everlasting. But what is taking place right now is the soul light is growing with frequency to fully engage into the physical. This is a natural evolvement of all living creatures. It is for you all to become balanced within yourselves so that this process can take place. Many of you call it your light body. And this is part of what this is about as your light quotient within you becomes brighter and stronger and lighter. Merging into the physical. And as this process takes place, there will be a natural expansion of the heart and the consciousness. As the whole being of each human and each living creature grows and expands on a wholeness level within. Becoming quantum in nature, and being able to travel in all dimensions as this expansion happens and your frequency rises. But it will take a while for the physical to travel in these dimensions. But through your consciousness and your soul light, you can already travel.
So it is time now for me to step back. But I will come and speak again. We ask you to have faith within yourselves. To have faith that a wonderful future is unfolding for humanity and the earth. Remember that we as advanced beings can see into the earth's future timeline. So we express our heartfelt wishes and feelings with you. And as you would call it, love, for this is the expansion of all hearts. We will talk again. Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm actually going to have to replay this and listen to it myself because I only caught snippets of it. When you channel, for anyone who's wanting to learn how to channel, you really have to step yourself out of the way and invite your guides in one at a time, of course. Uh, but you have to step yourself out of the way. So it's like you're an observer right up out on, on the side and allowing that being to step in and use your voice box, or so using your voice, but speaking as if it was them speaking within you, if you understand what I mean. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the message. Um, I will be tuning in with my guides. I'm trying to work out uh, my star being guides and I'm also going to work out um, uh, who a lot of my spirit guides are as well. So there may be different people speaking uh, when I channel, but I'm feeling the urge to... Uh, do channeling and do a lot more channeling now. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I wish you lots and lots of love and until we meet again, lots of love. Bye for now.